So good morning, everybody. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a new website using WordPress. And to create a website, we need an hosting platform. There are different types of hosting platforms. We have QServers, we have Ugoost. But the one I'll be using this morning is Ugoost. So I'll go to Ugoost.ng. So just wait for it to load. And I'll create a, an account with them, my account. Then you create a new account. So I'll just fill in the details, first name, Emmanuel Ajayi, email address, input your email address, Emmanuel Ajayi, at gmail.com. Then the phone number, change the country to Nigeria. Right, so I'll come down, billing address, company name. Billing address, company name, you skip it, that's optional. And street address, just put Lagos. Street address to Lagos, city, Lagos. Country, of course, you change to Nigeria. Then state Lagos, then postal code 100001. So the other necessary thing to do is where did you hear about us, friend? Then customer category, choose entrepreneur. Currency is, of course, Naira. Then password, you choose a strong password. Strong password contains a capital letter, small letter, numerics, and a special character. And you confirm password. Right, so I agree to terms and condition, then you register. But because I already have an account, I will not be clicking on register. So if you are just creating an account, you click on register. So I'm going to, I, I want to sign in into my account so can, you can see what it's going to look like after you click on register. Okay, so this is, going, this is going to be what it's going to look like. So just stop on top, you would see where to confirm your email, to send a, a, an email to your email address. So you confirm it by clicking on the link. But now, we want to create a domain. There are two things when creating a website, the domain and the hosting, that's the services. So you just, either you click on register a new domain here, or you move down and put whatever you want to put here. So you have to think of a website name. Um, the domain we use is .name.ng. You can choose to use .com, you can choose to use .online. 
but of course dot name dot ng so because that's the cheapest let me say i'm using Good LD life dot name dot ng. So I click on register. So it's going to search. Okay. Good LD life dot name dot ng is not available. So I'm going to use something else. Life and health into search. Life and health is available. So you click on add to cart and you check out. So um, to bring you here, I said there are two things to a website, that's domain and hosting. So you click on no hosting, click to add. You can decide to use um, $500 per month, $700 per month, $950 per month, any amount. But I want to use $700 naira. So I'm going to click on order now. So it says use a domain already in your shopping cart. And of course, life and health.name.ng is in my shopping cart. So I click on use. Great. How do I want to be charged? Is it monthly? Is it quarterly? Is it semi annually? I want to be charged monthly. So after that, you click on continue on this other summary. Click on continue. Then, okay, let's just check through. So, hosting is per month, why domain is per year? You pay for hosting per month, you pay for domain per year. So I want to use, the payment method I'll be using is Quick Teller, MasterCard, or Verve. So click on MasterCard, then I accept terms and condition. Yeah. Then I check out. So I want to make a payment. Now I'm going to be paying with my card. I'm going to be paying with my card, but I want you to see how. Oh, so, um, it will bring you here. So just click on this. There's nothing written on the box, but click on it. So it will take you to a payment platform. Okay, so I want to add my card details now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So adding my card number. Just add your card number. Just the way you pay for stuffs online too.
So I've added my card. So let me share my screen again. Great. So I'm at this point. It's going to send me. It's going to send me a an OTP. So let me add my OTP seven. Right, so after that, I accept. Okay, and next. Transaction field, please try another card. Okay, I think there's an issue with my card. So I'm just going to try another card right now. So again, let me stop sharing my screen. Just going to add another card. Adding another card. Okay, so OTP. Great. So I've been able to pay for my website. Then I return, return to merchant site. Been able to pay for my website. Then I'll click on Google Host. Yeah, to take me to home. So by now, um, when you create a, a new Google host account, all these services, domain, unpaid invoice tickets will be zero, just like this ticket, everything will be zero. But once you pay for your um, website, your services will be one and your domain will be one. Whatever it is, click on this, on the figure on the services, click on it. So now we want to install WordPress. To install WordPress, click on, you can see the number of websites that I have. So I want to install WordPress. So the one I just did is lifeandhealth.name.ng. So just click around it, not on the not on the website name, just click around it. When you click around it, take it to another interface. Okay, so just scroll down to, okay, still loading. Still loading, let's just wait. Okay, so it's downloading. So to load here, yeah, then you come down and click on C panel. Then to bring here, yeah, then you go down to softaculous. Now notice when you are when when you are to take here when you are scrolling down, there are two WordPress there. There's um, WordPress manager by Softaculous, not that one. Just scroll down to Softaculous. You can see 
Softaculous app installer, click on it. Then you can see WordPress. Click on WordPress. Then just click on this drag down arrow beside install. Quick install. When you want quick install, remove this WP. The WP, can you see the WP? Yeah. Remove it. Then scroll down and install. After you install, that is everything we need to do to create an hosting and a website. So we wait for our website to wait for our website to be ready. Once it's ready, you log into the admin page. I'll let you know how to log into the admin page in the next video. So that's all we need to do for now. And then please kindly watch the next video and know how to proceed once your website is available. So how to know your website is available. So when I click on, um, okay, let me use an old website. Because there are two interfaces to so your website. There is the back end, there is the front end. So you go to the back end. Once your website is, avail is available, you should bring out a login platform like this. So that's when, how you know that your website is available. Then you can proceed from there. So I'll stop sharing right now. And end this meeting.